hey guys welcome back to my channel this is Naja here at budgeting the bacon where I talk about saving money earning money and destroying our mortgage debt so today I'm gonna do a little bit of a different video normally I do my grocery hauls but I was like you know what I know a lot of people are are, are kind of i um, astonished that we only have a grocery budget of $200 a month and so I wanted to show you how I'm able to achieve that and give you some tips and tricks on how I do it so that maybe it can help you out to lower your grocery bill. In no way shape or form am I saying that you have to have a $200 grocery bill. No, 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 no. Every family is different. Every family dynamics is different. You may have someone that has allergies in your family, food allergies, so you have to take into account what works for you the cost of living there's an entirely a whole bunch of factors that are involved in it but this is how i've been able to cut our grocery bill down from where we didn't even know how much we were spending each month and this has been working for for us so far now this is not to say that i won't have to increase our budget because i do have an impending teenager i have an 11 year old that is eating like a grown man and so I do foresee our grocery budget increasing as well as he just started track. So we're buying some more healthy snacks and things for him that were not normally factored in for the original budget. So let me just kind of show you and tell you how I go about just our normal meal planning for the week. Okay. So as you can see here, I just printed this off of uh, Google Docs or whatnot. And it's just a plain calendar okay I went on ahead and put the numbers in for it or the dates as you can see and then I put the month in so what I do is I, I go ahead and I date it and I go ahead and I start to take inventory of what I already have on hand so what I'll normally do is I will flip it on the back okay I will flip it on the back and as you can see I wrote down four different weekly date so I have January 31st through February 6th February 7th through 13th February 14th through 20th and then February 21st through 27th and that is for all four weeks that we have here in February also if it's a five week month you could just go ahead and put that fifth date right down here or that fifth week write that down here but for February, we only have four weeks. So I'm just going to show you what I did for last week because I haven't done anything for this week just yet. But I'm going to show you my thought process of what I did last week. So as you can see here, I have have and then I have need. Okay, everything that I put down here for have, that is what I either have in the freezer or in my pantry. So I make sure that I take inventory of what I already have on hand because I may be able to go ahead and make some meals with what I already have on hand and not really have to buy a whole lot. Okay, so for this particular week, which was last week, I had half, uh, excuse me, I had egg noodles, baked beans, garbanzo beans, chickpeas if that's what you want to call them grilled chicken strips chicken in the can nor rice muffin mix four boxes of those mixed veggies and also carrots okay there was a lot of things that i actually needed okay so i saw from this list right here like okay i've got a couple side dishes you know that i can make but i'm gonna need like a protein or something like that to to go along with it okay plus the regular staple products that we that we need like milk bread lunch meat things like that okay so whatever store that you prefer to go to um, you can go ahead and write that down I prefer Aldi that is the store that I go to and what keeps the cost low for us okay but you could use this with any store whatsoever you could use this with multiple stores okay I just put down here Aldi because I knew that that is where I was going to shop for everything so here I put down that there was a couple things that that we needed, okay? Or that I had in mind that that we needed. All right. So I put down raisins. And so I knew that we needed milk, we needed crackers because my son loves crackers. And so again, I list down I list all of the things that are like the things that we normally have that my that my family loves like the cheese sticks the crackers the bread the lunch meat the cheese um if applesauce if we need that but we already had some 
I knew that I was going to want some salad, so I put that down. And so also what I did was I asked my son what would he like for dinner this week. And he basically said that noodle stuff with the white sauce and, and the uh, ground turkey. So that's pretty much like the stroganoff meal. Okay, so he pretty much likes that. So I knew that I was going to need some ground turkey. Okay, I knew that I already had the egg noodles, so I could use the egg noodles for that. And I basically needed the Alfredo sauce along with the ground the ground turkey. Okay. So what I did when I just put down all of the things that I knew for sure that I needed to get, like milk, bread, lunch meat, all of those things, I flipped the calendar over, okay? So I knew that my son wanted the pasta turkey with Alfredo, and so I was like, you know what? We have the mixed veggies, so we'll have mixed veggies with that, okay? So I put down the pasta turkey alfredo with the mixed veggies. And when I do the arrow over, that just means that it's leftovers for the next day. So I knew that I was getting the ground turkey and I planned on getting a large package of it. So I was like, you know what, we'll go ahead and have sloppy joe. We haven't had that in a while. And so instead of me doing french fries with it, I just went on ahead and said, you know what, I'm going to roast some carrots. Okay. So remember, the carrots were over here and I already had those. And I... For my vegetables, I typically do frozen vegetables. So those are the ones that I normally get, okay? You can get fresh if you want, but I typically go ahead and get the frozen, all right? So, and I know I'm sorry, I'm like going a lot, going back and forth a lot, but I'm just trying to show you the reasoning and how I do it. So I knew that I had nor rice on hand, okay? So flipping back over to the menu, I was like, you know what? We could do chicken, rice, and a veggie casserole. Because remember, on the other side, I had the grilled chicken strips. So we could do the grilled chicken strips and rice and go ahead and do some veggies and put that in a casserole dish. So for me, I know that for the casserole dish, I, I like to use sour cream. I like to use cheese as well as like either cream of mushroom or cream of chicken. So I made sure I put that down on the list and put down sour cream, ground turkey. I also put down, I already had cheese, so we had plenty of cheese. And then also I put the cream of mushroom on here as well. So I knew that that was going to help me with the casserole dish and that just makes a complete meal right there. Okay, so flipping back over, as you can see, I have it here, and then I have the arrow for the leftovers. And again, I try to make enough so that I can have leftovers every other day and so that I'm not cooking every single day. So typically on Saturday, it's kind of like a free-for-all. So whatever is leftover from the week, any leftovers from the week, we can have that on Saturday. Okay, I haven't really been planning for us to eat out, but it hasn't really been working out that way. We've been eating out here and there, so I need to plan better for that. But this is pretty much how I do my list, okay? So I go off of what I already have and then what I need in order to complete some meals. Okay, so flipping back over here, I went on ahead and I added a few things that I needed, like freezer bags, paper plates, um, apples because my son loves that, and we could also eat that in the, the oatmeal that I make. Also put on here oatmeal, the, the uh, quick oats one, cheese sticks, canola oil, hot dog buns, because we do have some brats and stuff in the freezer already. Milk, fruit bars, I told you about the salad earlier, and I put on here garlic, I'm not sure why I put garlic on here, because I don't think I even got that. So what I'll do then after I go ahead and put down all the things that I need, and I haven't used this service in a while, but I used Instacart in order to go ahead and order everything because I just didn't feel like going back out to, I didn't feel like going out to the store because it was already late. So I went on ahead and ordered everything here on Instacart and it totaled up to about $54 with the service charges and then also the tip that I added on to the order. So I felt like 
that was great because the groceries were shopped for me and they, they were they were delivered to my home and I didn't have to do anything except open up the front door and get the items and, and put them away okay so that's like an option for me too because I noticed that if I don't go into the store with a list which I normally do I would take this list into the grocery store with me I would just fold it up just like this take it into the grocery store with me and shop from the list but I noticed that if I don't shop from the list, I'm, I tend to start putting more things in my cart than what I really need. And honestly, I just want to stay with the list. So I went on ahead and just did the Instacart order because it was already, you know, so late. And I know some people may say, well, you know, they charge you a little fee. Well, yeah, it's a convenience fee. You know, you do have to look at that and budget that in if that's something you want to do. So yeah, I'll do the same thing again for this week. The good thing is we didn't eat everything that we had here on the list last week because someone at my job brought some, uh, I think they're called like Freshly Meals because that's where he works at. So we were able to eat some Freshly Meals last week and I didn't have to actually cook these meals right here. So I plan on actually putting these meals for this week right here and you know we still have groceries and everything from last week and so I don't even have to worry about it but that is how I meal plan that is how I plan now I don't do the prepping where I cook everything all in one day I actually want to get or start doing that but I haven't done that as of yet but that is something that I'm working on but this is definitely how I make my meal plan and my thought process on how I do it so hopefully this helps someone or just kind of gets you started on how you can meal plan and how maybe you can cut your grocery bill or cut it down not so much in half but cut your grocery bill down some and yeah so if you happen to enjoy this type of video and this type of content that I provided please make sure you go ahead and hit that like button also if you enjoy any of the content that you see on my channel go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that all notification bell so that you don't miss any type of upload that I do as well as please leave me a comment below and let me know how you do your meal planning if you meal plan um, do you use paper and pencil are you using like an Excel spreadsheet you know are you ordering your groceries on Instacart or are you going into the store you know or do you have like a service that actually gets it for you or, or you know or do you do meal subscriptions all right so definitely let me know what you're doing for your meal plan I'm always interested I absolutely love the meal plan and the meal prep videos they give me so much inspiration and they help me out to keep me accountable as well until the next video I will talk with you all later bye